Middle school. I met Coach Antonio Patriarca, a 21-year-old Riverside grad who, despite having Down syndrome, put in a full day campaigning for his uncle without a break. A truly inspirational young man. After the polls closed, I went to dinner, went home, poured a glass of scotch, looked up the election results, and I found out I got 2,413 votes. And I want to thank each and every one of the 2,412 people who voted for me. I'd like to have won, and if I had, I would have done the best I could as a school board member. November 7th was still a huge victory for me because Lori Kroniski retained her seat and the Joshua Pack was defeated. I went to bed with a big old country boy smile on my face and slept like a baby, knowing that one man and his wife were not going to take control of this school district and impose their will upon it. I was smiling with the reassurance that the electorate is hard to fool and that voters can, can and often do make great choices. Last winter, I became aware of the true purpose of the Joshua Pack. I found out the PAC was unlawfully taking money and using it to create fraudulent advertisements and mailing them to rig an election in the Ashtabula County. I was told the PAC intended to handpick school board candidates and massively spend on their campaigns to take control of and impose their will over school districts. This was attempted at Riverside, Mentor, and Willoughby East Lake districts. Mr. Fischel bragged at length that he would, what he would do to reshape these districts according to his will. I decided to test the waters and obtain a petition to run for Riverside School Board. When I told the officials I had done so, they went ballistic. Scott Fischel went so far as to steal one of the petitions being circulated. They said I couldn't win and alluded to an extensive felony record. In fact, I am not a felon. Two misdemeanors. They even intimidated another candidate to withdraw her candidacy. I always believed I had a reasonable chance of winning on an even campaign field, but I also realized the public needed to know what insidious plan the Joshua Pack was going to perpetrate. I decided not to have any of my court records sealed or expunged despite assurances from judges that I could have done so, and I filed my candidacy in July. True to form, the Joshua Pack, the officials in Brian Massey, and his Lobbyist for Citizens website went to work on me. Credible sources reveal the Joshua Pack outspent me by a factor of 60 to 1 with a multimedia blitz and numerous hit pieces. I spent less than $800 on some signs and printed handouts. Throughout all the vitriol, misinformation, and rhetoric, the Joshua Pack and its conspirators have violated just about every campaign law in the books, both locally and federally, and they're about to face the consequences of their actions. The most important thing is that now, you, the voters and parents in this school district, know the truth about what Scott Fischel represents. Something leads me to believe he's not going to get 2,413 votes next election. To Lori Kroniski, I, s I extend a heartfelt congratulations and Godspeed on your win. Denise Brewster, I'd like to believe you weren't in on the plan. Nevertheless, congratulations. The officials bought you an election. To Scott, Kathy, and Brian, I dare not say what I'm thinking except you guys messed with the wrong ranger. Rangers lead the way.